Tahiti. Oh, Tahiti, Tahiti. <laughs> I love Tahiti. Um, I've been going there since I was 15, and uh, yeah, that place has a, I don't know, I really, really enjoy it there. The people are very nice, it's beautiful, very easy living, relax. But then there's Chopu, that's the scariest wave in the world. <laughs> it's the most beautiful, but it's also the most scariest, you know, so it's a, uh, it's a love-hate relationship. Not hate, it's more of a love, scared relationship. I didn't really look at the waves that day, I just kinda just went out and the skiing went straight to the lineup, so probably the best thing I did because if I would've seen those, how big the waves were, I probably would've had a little different take on what I was doing out there, but since that didn't happen, I just, I kinda just, you know, whatever, I just went. <laughs> To ride. I don't know, it's very intense. Uh, I don't know, I swear you come out, if you do make the wave, it's like, it's the feeling is so, so crazy that kind of questioning yourself, like, did I really enjoy that? Like, because it's just, you're, it's so mind boggling. <laughs> it's a trip. But I guess that's why you do it, because afterwards you have that really trippy adrenaline feeling. You don't know if it's good or bad, but you're high. We just got out there and you know guys were just kind of going wild and uh yeah Kobe kind of let everyone fly by I know it wasn't my turn but I don't know Kobe's when Kobe's just whipping you and screaming at everyone to back, get off the wave I guess you're gone and uh yeah, it ended up being, that was probably the biggest, scariest looking wave I've ever caught. Yeah, by far. I didn't really know how big it was because you're not really looking. All you know is uh, you let go and you come down. And it looks like you're going to, on the shoulder or something. That's what it feels like to me. And so I always feel like, fuck, am I deep enough? And then if you kind of do a check before you know it, the boats are way high in the sky and it's dark and it's bending towards the beach. And, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I guess I am deep enough you're not even looking at the wave or out of the, you're just kind of trying to angle the board straight in because the water's sucking up and just trying to keep that nose up and it's like sitting next to this vortex tornado it's pretty it's, it's a really heavy feeling um, but yeah anyways I poked I guess and, and I went over in the lip and I was I was, I was kind of said to myself in the lip I was like wow I'm in the worst situation you can probably be in right now <laughs> and uh kind of just loosened up and actually, you know what, I didn't feel a thing. I just felt like I was in this little cocoon. I didn't feel anything. I was in the lip and I just, very feather light, you know what I mean? And I came up way in like waist high water, just seeing stars, but I didn't really feel the, the impact, you know? It's like I was in this protected cocoon or something. It's pretty cool. Hi, Bruce. Yeah, Biggest vibe I've ever seen.